Hi everyone, welcome back to Filipino Time. Today we have Owi. Owi is a former moderator of Two Doraholics. He is a moderator of Seiko and Orient Club of Manila. And well, everybody knows Owi is very popular in the SWCP. But for this episode, we're going to be talking about some of his Swiss pieces. So welcome, Owi. Hi, thanks. Nice. nice to be here. So on, uh, in front of us, we have uh, some of Owi's Swiss pieces. And um, I wanted to start off with Owi's Body and Soul. Owi, can you tell us about this watch? Body and Soul, right? Body and Soul. Yeah, not Body and Soul. Body, body and... that's sold. Oh, okay. Go ahead. No, actually, I purchased this watch because there's this one guy on Instagram. I think he's D2 one two or two four one four form and he's now known as dubai watch club okay he was said that he started his automatic watch collection with this well it's part of the irony collection yes. but i think when this watch came out you must have been a little kid oh yeah of course yeah uh, it was i think it was i think this is from the, the 90s the third generation or third the generation. third version but it's pretty nice since you know you can look at it and you can see through it and do you ever wear this watch? Yeah, for Instagram posting. Okay. Just like any of this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And next we have uh, two of a kind. Um, tell us about these speedies. <clears throat> yeah, these two, I recently acquired them. I think, yeah. Here locally yeah, yeah. or no, abroad? Uh, this one was from Japan. Okay. And this one, I was a ninja at the Omega watch group of manila okay. or i forgot what it's called okay yeah so they are i believe to celebrate michael schumacher's victory in 2000 yeah and the, yeah. the white one is limited to 4,000 pieces marketing and this one's 6,000 pieces okay but if you look at it uh, the dial is of a checkered flag yes four. yeah right right they're 39 right. Mm, millimeters i believe okay yeah. and of these two watches if you had to choose because you have two and i don't think you're gonna do a short schwarzkopf so which one of the two would you choose to wear if you had to choose uh maybe the black the black one okay and we move on next to another speedy so well this one also has the month and the day this one is a triple date. Okay. Or yeah, a triple date. It has a month date and yeah. and it actually has an AM PM oh, yeah. indicator okay. on the nine. That's awesome. Sub dial and the carbon fiber dial. So also thirty nine millimeters. Also thirty nine millimeters. And yeah. actually on this one, I broke the clasp. I broke the lock on it. Okay. But so I went to Omega or what is it? Watch check. Yes. And they said, oh if. For us to fix it, you need to buy the whole bracelet. How much is, is a new bracelet? I don't know, but I told him to forget about it. Okay. So I brought it to Mang Loy. Okay. And he just did something with the clasp. Okay. And it was actually for free. How often are you at Mang Loy's shop, Mr. Gallardo? Before, it was like twice a week. Now? Now, now no. Um, you were just there the other day. No, no, now it's just like <laughs> once, a, once a week. Okay, or, okay. Cutting back. Putting back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, and this one, I know you have a lot to say about this one, but I really fancy this dial. Actually, no, I actually have more a lot to say more about this. Okay, yeah, sure. Because on this one, I actually bought this for only $800. Okay. For 40000 You know this is going to go on YouTube, right? Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to sell this. Okay. So, uh, 40000 or maybe thirty-two, okay. depending on the conver conversion rate. Okay. And actually, it's a complete set. Okay. But... Which country? US. US. Uh, the only problem was it wasn't running. It needed an overhaul. Oh, okay. So for $80, $800 plus give or take 5,000 pesos or 10,000. Yes. It's pretty good. Okay. And if no one is watching this and I can flip it for 100 right now, because <laughs> it's a full set and it's pretty decent condition. The it only is, it problem is. with this one is I only wear it once a year. Okay. Because it's only correct once a year. Because it's hard. Okay. It has that month indicator on it. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because you have to go all the way 12 months. Oh, to set it. To set it. 
Wow. Wow. Okay. Too much complication. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else you wanted to say about this one? And this one, I know you have a lot to say about the Instagram haters. Oh, yeah. This one, it is a uh, leave the. What is it? The Legend Collection? Yes. Schumacher for, I believe, 2003 victory or his sixth Formula One title. Okay. Yeah, sixth title. <clears throat> yeah, but every time I post this on Instagram, I keep on getting haters saying that it's a wannabe Paul Newman because of the. Yes, the panda, color. The panda dial and the red marker. Okay. Seconds marker. But what's interesting with this one is that it was when. Omega started messing around with in-house movements. Ah, okay. So these ones are all Etas. Yeah, these are all Etas, and okay. they just started messing around with the. I believe it's a Caliber thirty-three zero one, which copied a F FPK movement, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Did you note? Do you notice any difference on? No, oh, just no, no difference. Just interesting to know. Yeah, it was just an interesting fact and. The fact that this one is harder to service compared to those. Oh, and why is that? No. To open the case? No, or? no, it's just that since it's a new movement, oh, okay. it's not, parts are not easily accessible. I see, I yeah. see. Okay. And, uh, well, sorry that for the pun, the rose among the thorns. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did you get this one? Actually, that I got it from an eBay seller in India. Oh, okay. He described it to me as all original, even the cla even the bracelets original. Yeah, so it has the Rolex logo here and on the crown. Yeah. And on the, but the case. Is it, yeah, the case back is like that. This is original. Yeah, it, it's not like the new ones where it says two door, two door, yeah. Rolex design. Yeah. If you open actually the clasp, you'll see how of a ghetto job the guy did to make it all original. Oh, okay. Yeah, it there. has a weld welded spot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you wear this watch at all? I mean, I used to wear them a lot before when I was the when I was still busy with Tudor Aholics. Okay. Since I I kind of have to represent. Yes. But now I don't. Okay. But it's beautiful. This this uh, rose is so Actually, interesting. If you have a tape, I'll open the case back and I'll show you the movement. It's oh, okay. the movement is something on this one. Okay. It, okay. It's still it was. A time where before Tudor went with Eta. Okay. Yeah, so it still has the butterfly rotor. Okay. Similar to the Rolex. Butterfly. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll add some um, pictures of that later yeah. for the video. All right. So apart from these um, pieces that you brought us, is there another Swiss that you left at home which you should have brought and I thought you were going to share with us? Oh yeah. Uh, it was a I think was it a GM Tiras vintage Submariner? Okay. Yeah. But since you already I know you already own those, is there another watch that you're still looking for from your for your Swiss collection? If if actually I had if I came up with the extra cash, well a lot of extra cash. Okay. I would want a Platona. What is that? It's a platinum Daytona. Oh okay. Yeah. Alright, well guys, that's the end of part one. See you in a bit for part two. Thanks. Welcome to another episode of Filipino Time. Today we have our guest, Owi. Owe is a is a <laughs> Sorry, Owe. I didn't mean that. Okay. He's a bum from Quezon City. He lives off his parents and you know. Ouch, ouch. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Okay. Tape. So you the case back with just tape. Tape, yep. Yeah. So you just wrap it around and make it connect. And... Oh, Dude, it's the best buy in Brandy, that's why. <laughs> you need three and work, it work. <laughs> no. Oh man. No. Didn't fit. Oh man. Never mind. 